A Jacksonville mother is calling on the mayor and city council to close what's known as the gun show loophole. Currently in the state of Florida, background checks are required for the purchase of guns at gun shows if the person selling the gun is a licensed dealer. But firearm experts tell First Coast News you can see guns and cash exchange between people not licensed without a background check, and that's known as the gun show loophole. On your side, Nick Perot talked to this mother and has more from the Jacksonville Fairgrounds. Nick. Well, yes, Anthony, we can tell you that as of July, they're expected the North Florida Gun and Knife Show expected here at the fairgrounds. And talking with that mother, she hopes the city of Jacksonville will have required background checks for all gun sales inside by that time. We support you. We stand with you. Monday, as Mayor Curry and Councilmember Aaron Bowman offered support behind Crime Victims Week, one victim, Mother Latasha Hobbs, is still finding herself asking for help. My son, Maurice Hobbs, is not physically here. You don't care about the survivors in Jacksonville. You don't care to help prevent crime. The distraught mother lost her son in January of 2017, two days after his 18th birthday. She says he was shot and killed walking outside. I can tell you the gun that, that murdered my son, it was in the hands of someone who should have never had one. Hobbs did not say where that gun came from, but is sounding off against the mayor and city council, asking them to require background checks for guns sold across the city, including at gun shows. We found this document from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement back in July, citing that background checks are not a requirement for sales between two people who are not licensed, including at gun shows. FDLE telling us it is part of the regulation of the sale and delivery of firearms by licensed dealers to persons who are not licensed, which requires a background check but did not address people-to-people -people sales. Bullets don't discriminate in the city of Jacksonville. I'm fighting to protect their children, and they don't even care enough as fathers to close the gun show loophole, to help keep guns out of the wrong hands. Shame on them. The mayor is out of town today, but his office replied to us, telling us law enforcement experts have not advised Mayor Curry that this would be an effective way to address violent crime. If that changes, the mayor will seek input from law enforcement. And back out here live, we're told that City Council does not currently have any legislation on the books that would look at closing this loophole either. Make sure you keep it right here as we continue to follow this story from the fairgrounds tonight. Nick Perot, First Coast News on your side.